setting your web tab preferences. Let's start by navigating to your web tab preferences. Begin by opening an item card, then click on the web tab. When web item is checked on the item card, it web enables that item to push up to Shopify. Note that it's important to create unique web title names. Duplicate naming will not work, so you should not have two separate items that will take the same Shopify product name. If the title name is left blank, the linker will use the description from the item card when it pushes data up to Shopify. Next, if you include item weights, which are required if you plan to use a shipping integration, the values will be treated as US pounds within Shopify. Now let's talk a bit about pricing. First, web price is a Shopify field. If this field is empty, the linker will use the current price from Possum instead. You can also use special price for discounting items online. Most Shopify themes display the special price with a slash to the original price. On to web description. This is the description displayed on Shopify. As mentioned in a previous video, pushing the Possum item description up to Shopify requires some HTML code knowledge in order for formatting to be applied correctly. Again, we suggest you enter your web descriptions in Shopify because the editor is simple and you can do it from anywhere. Next up, web item until. This setting lets you set specific dates so an item can remain web enabled for a defined period of time. This is often used as an expiration date. It is important to note that the item will not be removed from Shopify unless the delete Shopify web item if not Evo web item preference is checked under e-commerce preferences in Possum. Next up, web tags lets you load Shopify tags related to your product. This allows better visibility with search engines and makes it easier for visitors to find items within your website. Tags can also be used for creation of collections within Shopify. Make sure to separate the tags with commas so each unique tag is identified correctly. You can use Grid View and Fill Down to make mass, non-destructive changes to fields such as web tags. To do this, open an item card and change the view to Grid View by clicking the blue button at the top until it says Item Grid View. To complete a fill down, you can first narrow your results by using Advanced Search and refining your selection criteria using the columns. Once Advanced Search contains the items you want to change, press OK at the bottom of the window. Then, highlight the column you wish to make a mass edit to by clicking on the column header. Then, right-click on the first cell, hover over Fill Down, then click Formula. Next, select Web Tags from the drop-down menu, and press the double arrow button to add it to the formula. Once done, you need to add a comma, a space, and then the tag or tags you wish to add to the formula window. You can verify in the formula preview that it is working correctly. Finally, press OK to apply the formula fill down to your selection. Lastly, the image name value allows you to enter a name for the image uploaded from Possum to Shopify. All this does is change the name of the image file itself, so this field typically isn't too important, unless you need the files to be named certain things. That wraps up our Shopify integration video series. Thanks for watching and happy selling!